I'm standing outside the Biffa site in Sittingbourne. It might not look like much now, but as part of the regeneration plans, it's going to be transformed into over 3,000 square metres of retail space. That's four shopping units and 105 parking spaces to go with it. I caught up with Cabinet Member for Regeneration, Councillor Mike Cosgrove, to find out how the rest of the town centre is going to look once it's transformed. Well, this is Cockleshell Walk car park, and as you see from here, it's less than half full at the moment. So this is one of the council's car parks. What we're going to be doing here, this is, this is the first set of apartment buildings which is going to be built down here. And there's going to be one or two alterations with the road. So the road is going to be softened. There's going to be more tree planting down here. It's still going to be one way, but it's actually going to be slightly broken up with tree planting. So as you drive along it, you are encouraged to actually slow down and it won't be such a racetrack as it is now. Yards from Cockleshell is Spring Street and Fountain Street. This car park and the space running parallel will soon be home to hundreds of people. Yeah, this, is, this is Spring Street and you can see that there are going to be four blocks. They're seven storeys high. They're going to be softened with planting. And as, you, as we rise up the hill, They'll be, the last one will be level with the round building on the right. The road changes are a complex aspect of the regeneration works. They involve the complete removal of the station roundabout and the redesigning of pedestrian walkways. Well, these changes are, are, I think, are really quite useful, but they're quite complicated. There are three things about them. Firstly, the road system itself is going to be moved towards the station and the roundabout is going to be cut out. We're going to have a small, a, quite a small and long strip of, of um, covered pathway between the two sets of traffics. Then the, the road is gently going to swing round the station and we're going to have a little roundabout there and then where the existing traffic light and zebra crossing is, we're going to have one of these special interactive um, pedestrian crossings. So when pedestrians walk either side of it, the cameras see them and trigger the light so they can stop. But the most exciting aspect of the transformation is the leisure complex. This is what this huge project is all about, making Sittingbourne a hub of shopping and entertainment. So you're going to see the cinema and the restaurants. And the cinema is going to be a seven screen cinema. Behind the cinema and restaurants, there's going to be a, a road coming through and joining the existing St. Michael's Road. And that's partly to actually help break up the traffic, but also for deliveries to, to the restaurants and, and the cinema. Then behind me, where, where the existing road is, the road will come towards me a bit more so we can get the public square in there which can be used for performances and a whole range of things and then between the public square and the existing forum there will be a, a, some more developments of another restaurant so we've actually this is Hayley Robinson for KMTV